just as we've done in the past when we've introduced a method or, or an approach of doing something, uh, we can also generalize this to other scenarios. One of the ways we might generalize this is multi-dimensions. Uh, in particular, we have partial derivatives. And so I've written out here two of the two of the partial derivative formulas. We have the partial derivative of f with respect to x and and if this had a limit as delta x goes to zero it wouldn't even be an approximation but but the approximate form then would be uh, f of x plus delta x y minus f of x minus delta x y uh, over two delta x. So this is a centered uh, difference approximation and if you look here we just have a comma y here and everything else is just the same thing we've seen before. Uh, the the uh, equation for the partial of f with respect to y is the same. You just sort of x is just sort of hanging out there, and we do the y plus delta y and y minus delta y over two delta y. Uh, we we just do all that with the y's, and so uh, these are the partial derivatives. Uh, we can also do mixed partial derivatives. So let's say we're going to do the the partial of f with respect to x, and then uh, it, it doesn't matter whether we do the mixed partial, you, you probably know this, we could do the mixed partial with respect, we could do the x's first and then the y's, or the y's first and the, and the x's, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, but if we want to go ahead and write this out, uh, we can do this too. So if you think about it, we just have, so first we're, we're basically going to just do this part. So the partial with respect to x, and then we, of, of df dy, so we just write that out so we have the partial of f with respect to y of x plus delta x y plus minus the partial of f with respect to y of x minus delta x y all over 2 delta x. Then we can expand out this partial of f with respect to y term and when we do that uh, we get uh, for the first term here uh, we get what's shown uh, in this equation uh, for the second term here uh, we get this one. See, we just have y plus delta y, y minus delta y over 2 delta y. We're just expanding the y. See where we had expanded the x's here before, uh, and over delta x, 2 delta x, we're expanding the y's. y plus delta y, y minus delta y, uh, y plus delta y, y minus delta y, the difference here over 2 delta y. We simplify that, and we get our uh, beautiful, oops, our beautiful equation for uh, the mixed partial derivative. And, and so once we understand the basic methods for doing this in one dimension, it's pretty straightforward to uh, move that into other dimensions. And so that's all we're going to see then on partial derivatives.